All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we're going to be fighting something. Let me zoom in and show you. See that black soot? Um, there's more on this backside. That top nut on the manifold to the turbo came loose. Blue, uh, you know, 11, 12, 13, 1400 degree temps out the side and ruined the metal gasket. It doesn't matter if I tighten it as much as I want, it still leaks. So we have to pull that down and put a new gasket, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I obviously pulled the tire out of the way and the wheel well, because look at all the room that you get to the damn turbo. Um, I went ahead and disconnected the ABS. I'm just gonna put this over here out of the way. So I'm reaching around, don't have anything in my way. Next, I'm going to pull the, the clamps uh, for the, the downpipe here. Uh, then I'm gonna pull out the EGT sensor. Then I will get the, uh, the air uh, filter hose off. I will get the boot off for the intercooler. And I will be back. After that, I'm sure it'll be the damn oil lines there. But uh, I digress. Let's see how far I get and I'll be back. Started working those uh, nuts back and looky there. This is the second time that I've had one of those exhaust manifold to turbo um, bolts break on me. All right, well, since that stud broke off, I went ahead and loosened the clamp for the downpipe. I have gone ahead and loosened all 12 of the manifold bolts. I've got to zip those out here in a second, but I was going to get underneath, do the two that are on the drain. I loosened the clamps for the intercooler. Um, there's the EGT probe. Let's go up top. <sighs> Pulled the cold air intake pipe. Um, moved my um, my France oil refinery out of the way. That's an oil bypass system. Uh, this is gonna be a horrible video, but uh, it's because I'm already pissed off because that damn stud broke off. But um, yeah, enjoy. All right, we took a little rubber glove. We put it over the, the, the oil drain. Um, I need to get all of those gaskets for uh, the exhaust off because I have some MLS ones that's multi-layer steel that's what it stands for um, I got the turbo and the manifold apart all right so it was this one that came loose um, this one too maybe I guess but you see how it fucking broke off um, this one right here came loose it was just a couple turns you know this is go what's gonna happen and now this is why I am an advocate for the locking hardware for your turbo. That's my gasket. That's what's left of my gasket from this nut getting just a little bit loose and it blowing exhaust out right here and right here. I believe it was like that right there. So, uh, yeah, I have a couple of those pieces for the locking set. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use what I have for now, and I'll probably put the lockers on these back two right here because those are the two that uh, came loose. Um, you guys know that we travel full time, so I carry a lot of crap with me. So through a little bit of luck and a little bit of grace, I was able to use PB Blaster, um, my old torch here, and gently heat this up and get it out of that manifold without breaking the manifold. I have seen those manifolds break at the corner before when people heat them up. So don't think that it can't happen because it can. All right, now, like I was saying about the locking hardware and I said I had half half of the set, I went ahead and put those on the bottom because they're the hardest to get to. The top ones are easy to just keep retightening. I'll retighten those until I can get that locking set for the top ordered in, uh, in and installed. Um, I just need to reconnect my uh, my wastegate arm here to my turbo. Uh, clean up all of these surfaces because it has uh, that gasket material on it. I'm going to clean up all those surfaces. I'm going to clean up the surfaces on the block where this attaches. And I will be back. Um, I may have to shoot some stuff for some filler in the middle. I don't know what I said or what I've recorded by this point because, uh, yeah, I was pretty frustrated.
I'll be back. All righty. Watch the screen for a second and see if you can figure out what the secret is to getting the manifold and the turbo in the truck by yourself and being able to thread those damn bolts in with the gaskets individually. It's a giant pain in the ass. Well, if you look on cylinders three and four, three and a half inch long uh, bolt with the same thread pattern, and I just cut the nut off or cut the nut head off with my grinder and then ground a slot into it for a flat head. So you use the two in the middle there to get it in place, hold everything in place, and then put the bolts in, line up all the gaskets and shit. And it makes it way easier, guys and gals. Anyway, let me get all these uh, all these uh, bolts in here, and uh, I'll be back. All right, so uh, the turbo and everything is all back in the truck now. It's all put back together, and it's been, I don't know, about a week or two or something like that since I did the job. Just uh, getting this video ready for you guys. Um, yep, just uh, at that point, you know, with the manifold in place and the gaskets in place, the job's pretty much done. You just got to reconnect everything back the way that it was connected. Um, which I shouldn't have to show you that because you're the one there with your hands on it, taking it apart. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. 